You spend all your time with that stupid protein. You never hold me anymore. Looks like we're growing apart. Distance. Yikes, that looked familiar. Hello and welcome to A Little Help. As it turns out, I don't know how to make cheese and that's been really bumming me out lately. We're gonna switch things up a little bit. Instead of giving a little help, I'm gonna get a little help from my bud and my favorite cheese boy, Cody Reese. Hey there. Hi Cody. Hi Ellie, how's it going? Uh, pretty good, how are you? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Sick. You're a big time cheese guy, right? Yeah, I'm basically a total cheese boy is what they tell me. All right, well what's your deal with cheese? Um, well, I write about cheese, I sell cheese, and I make cheese at home. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> It's a lot of cheese. Is it hard to make cheese? Uh, well, making aged cheese at home is a little bit hard, but okay. making fresh cheese at home is actually pretty easy, and you can do it in just about as much time as it takes to ruin one of your favorite friendships. No okay. cheese, no friends. Goodbye. Boing. So Cody, are you gonna teach me how to make cheese today? Yeah, I absolutely am. I'm actually gonna teach you how to make two cheeses. One comes from the other, kind of like we all came from monkeys. So the first cheese is gonna be called farmer's cheese, uh -huh. uh, and then we're gonna turn that into paneer. Love it. Why don't you tell us what farmer's cheese is? It's gonna be curdled milk that is strained. It's basically that's all it is. That's it? Yeah, that makes cheese. That's the most simple kind of fresh cheese to make. Right. Well, the first ingredient here is milk. Whoops, it got in there. That was pretty sick though, I bet, wasn't it? Yes. Milk. That's so gross. And that reminded me of my bar mitzvah. All you gotta do now is heat that guy up. Ah, that's it? Just bring it to a boil? Oh, that's right, yeah. We're gonna bring this guy to a boil. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so while that's happening, why don't we talk a little bit about um farmer's cheese? You might be like, wow, this looks familiar. I think this might be ricotta. Well, this is not ricotta, and let me tell you why, okay? Okay. Little language lesson. Ricotta. It means a recooked. Traditional ricotta made in Italy is made from the whey that's left over after cheese making. You add acid to that and you get like little wispy curds out of that and that's traditional ricotta. Some people call this whole milk ricotta, um, but I like to think about it as more of a, a farmer's cheese here. You imagine a farmer kind of taking his milk, heating it up, adding in a little bit of lemon or some vinegar to it, seeing those soft little curds come out, straining them, adding some salt. Now, when you're doing this at home, you want to find, some, like, if you can make a spoon really big, that's perfect for this, because you want to be stirring the entire time that this is heating up. It has a tendency to scorch on the bottom. Uh, the milk sugars, also called lactose, but don't tell anyone that, that's a secret. Um, those have a tendency to cook if they're not uh, stirred constantly. Once you're at a boil, you want to turn this sucker off, and you want to take it off of the heat to chill for about two or three minutes, just to hang out. Lee, we've heated up our milk. Yes. The next thing we have to do is we have to coagulate the milk, all right? We're gonna add our acidic ingredient. We're gonna add about a half a cup of white vinegar here. Would you like to do the honors? How did you know? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna add it, and you're gonna give it a couple gentle stirs, and then just let it hang out, okay? Ready? Mm-hmm. This is it. Okay. This one's for all the money, ready? This one's for all the homies out all there. All right, here we go. Cool. Nice, vinegar in, just giving it a couple stirs to incorporate, and before our eyes, it's going to be magic. Yep, as you can see, it's starting to curdle already. It's basically separated here. Now, after five or 10 painstaking minutes, these soft little curds have sunken down below the whey protein, this kind of like yellowy, like X-Files liquid on top. Yeah. Now, you might be tempted to take this whole big thing and pour it into the, this thing we got over here. You don't. You wanna be really gentle with them. Scoop those soft little curds like you would scoop a lover or a pillow. So right here we've got a colander. We've got it lined with cheesecloth. You could also use pantyhose, a do-rag, anything that's fine mesh. We got a bowl under there to catch the whey. Feed that to your pigs or to someone that you hate. Got it. All right? Yeah. Ooh, look at these curdy little bad boys. Those Whoa. are pretty thick. Give it a little poke. All right, in goes the dynamite. All right, the squishy boys are back in town, and this time they mean business. Scoop. So we've got our little like curds here. You can see they're like basically pretty smushy, um, and smushy is the goal here. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of salt. So this salt, give it a little sprinkle fest. This is like little rain coming down, little blessings from the sky. Then you're gonna smush this guy in. So basically this is gonna be adding flavor and it's also gonna help draw out more moisture through osmosis. As we've all seen in Osmosis Jones, um, Bill Murray is an incredible actor. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, cool. Now we can give, why don't we give this a little taste? What do you think about that? Yeah, let's taste it. You wanna taste it? Yeah. So this is like hella basic, the, like one of the most basic cheeses here. Little squishy boys, they look like little brain blasters. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's like kind of squeaky a little bit. Very squeaky, it's I like, like that. All right, now that we've added the salt, mixed it in, we're gonna let these guys sit for about 15, 20 minutes, start to drain some of its way out. All right, it's been about 15, 20 minutes. Let's take a secret little peek in here, see how we're doing. Sneaky peek. Sneaky peek. Yep, look at that. It's firmed up a little bit. Because we're gonna turn this farmer's cheese into paneer. And all you really have to do to do that is to press it and allow more water to drain. Uh, we're just gonna fold this into a little packet here. So fold it over, be really, really tender with it. It's a little bundle of joy. Now we're gonna make a little homemade press. It's pretty easy, you could do it with whatever you have lying around. Here I've got a little tray, and inside of that I've got a plate um, that I've put upside down, so it gives us a little frame to put our paneer in. You see that there? I see it. Pretty nice. This will be a place to catch the extra way so it doesn't run all over your house, ruin your furniture, ruin your carpet, ruin your whole day. Oh my god. Sounds pretty bad. Just still glooping out some liquid here. Whee! Uh, we're gonna put this down. We wanna form this into the general shape that it'll take. We wanna keep this top flat because that's gonna affect the way it looks, right? Mm -hmm. It's got a big old lump in there. So this is into a circle-ish area. And as this drains, all of these curds are gonna to knit together and it's gonna become a solid little chunk of blanc. So next, we're gonna take a um, cutting board here. This provides a flat surface to push it down. We wanna put our weights on there. Okay. Here we've got um, whatever you would call this. Mm -hmm. What else could you use as a weight? Well, things you could use as a weight, you could use um, a big old, you could use a cast iron as long as it's not too heavy. You could use basically anything that's heavy, but the important thing to have is like a flat surface here, so it creates a flat surface on the cheese, as we'll see with our final one. And we're just gonna let this set for about two hours, the time that it takes to watch any of the Batman movies. Great, let's go watch Batman. No, we're not gonna go watch Batman, oh. although I highly recommend it if you get the chance. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna explain the science behind what's going on when we turn milk into cheese. All right, I'm gonna teach you about the science here, but it's important for you to know I'm not a scientist. In its natural form, milk is a super chill relationship between a bunch of different components. You got water, you got sugar, you got fats, you got proteins. But today we're focusing on three components. We got fat, casein protein, and whey protein. Now when milk is just hanging out, it's a pretty solid relationship here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so vulnerable around you. Well, seems like a pretty good relationship. Now, when heat is added to milk, it brings tension to the relationship. People start acting a little bit weird, kind of like when jealousy enters a real relationship. You spend all your time with that stupid protein. You never hold me anymore. It's like we're growing apart. Distance. Yikes, that looked familiar. Now, when acid is added, well, that breaks up the relationship for good. I trusted you, and you broke me in hell. <laughs> wow, coagulation. As these three different components start to unwind and change, the casein proteins start to come together and trap the fat, not allowing it to escape. You're mine! This is the beginning of our cheese. Well, I guess that makes us cheese. Yippee, the milk has now coagulated into curds. As the cheese is pressed and drained, the remaining whey is leached out of the cheese and it starts to become firmer. It's cheese now. It's paneer. Well, it's been two hours. Maybe we should take a look to see what our paneer's looking like now. Let's reveal it. Yeah? Yeah, it's okay. a big reveal. I'm a little nervous. Da 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 da. Oh, look at that. Check it out. That's a real cheese. A real cheese. It's got some tough, it's got some like body to it here. You can push on it. Look at that. It's paneer. It's paneer. We made paneer. We've made paneer. One of the things that's special about paneer is unlike a lot of other cheeses, this guy won't melt. Rather, it'll fry. Should we fry it up? Let's fry it down. Okay, so we have this fresh paneer. How's that taste? Chill. Delicious. Very good. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe we could make something with it, right? Absolutely, I'd love so to see it, yeah. So I'm thinking we could do this uh, riff on a traditional sabzi, which is like a, an Indian curry. Cool, sounds molto bene. Molto bene, okay, here we go. We're gonna start by frying our paneer in some neutral oil. Cool, let's just toss all these big chunky boys in there. Ah! 
Oh, oh, don't do that at home. No, okay? don't pat them too hard. Toss them gently. Gently. You gotta treat food with respect. This is, what is my chef about learning me. lessons, you know? Yeah. We're gonna add our spices and we're gonna let those bloom in the oil. Mm, nice and ne fragrant. <laughs> nice and fragrant. Next, we're gonna add a grated onion, just one. We're gonna let that onion brown. Grated garlic, grated ginger. We're gonna add some tomato paste. Then we'll add two tomatoes, grated a touch of cream to make it a little bit pink. We're gonna add some peas. We're gonna add some spinach, bring it all to a simmer, and then we're gonna serve it over rice. Delicious. You're gonna love it. Do you wanna try our paneer? I would absolutely love to. I'm salivating almost too much. Oh, okay, we're, we better try the cheese. <laughs> yeah, let's dip in with the fingies, dude. Right. That's good with it. Welcome to my mouth. Mmm, so squeaky. Oh yeah. Squeak. Delicious. I can hear you're squeaking right now. I can't believe we made this cheese. Yeah. I feel really either. accomplished, you know? I know, me too. So that's it. We made cheese from scratch. It was easy, it was fun, and it was also delicious. That's right. So Cody, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you learned today that milk is just a step or two away from becoming cheese, and you're just a step or two away from eating that cheese. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, all you needed was uh, a, little a little help. help. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our other Thrillist videos and like, comment, and subscribe.